I'd like to show you how you can set the cursor to a specific value. And this technique works either in grapher view, which is what I'm showing right now, or the interactive oscilloscope. So for example, I have a trace and I'd like to identify the times at which it crosses through zero. Now certainly you can move the cursor along until, let me select, there we go. Now I have the cursor operating on the green trace. So certainly I could move the cursor until I see it intersecting zero. That's pretty easy to do. Another way though, is I can right click on the cursor and say set the value at which you want to jump the cursor. So in a similar way, I can right click and choose zero value. So that way the cursor seeks to that number. It's perhaps a little bit more convenient and certainly more accurate than manually adjusting it. So then I can read off the time and the time difference, for that matter, uh, between the two cursors. Now supposing I want to find a value that's not already on one of the grid lines. So for example, I want to find the time at which the value 0.75 occurs. So I simply dial it up and I'm all set.